we're going to talk real quick about uh, what JJ and I have been playing. We both, yeah, got, we both got a code for the game. same game. Yeah. So let me let me. I want to hear your right opinion now. first. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. So um, I played this game on the on the airplane. Uh, is this this mid- number in trees games you guys were talking yeah, about? No, oh, yeah, no, no. That. yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah, no, Listen, no. This is Mister Run and Jump, which is <clears throat> it is sort of a half. I, don't, I mean, you can explain it better than I can, JJ. But it's sort of like a a remake of a game that didn't never existed, ne- didn't exist, and yeah. it's a it's your it's not an endless runner. It's more of like uh, Super uh, Meat Boy. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say it's more like. Um, Oh, like V V V V V. Yeah, V V. Exactly. Yeah, and you're really. It's just you have like four, four or five moves. It's like you can jump, yeah. you can double jump, you can jump off walls, and you can do a sort of this, like dive this, forward. Yeah, they've got this roll move that sort of and triples yep. as things. Like the roll also leads you into your long jump, which also yep. like you can do a dive into a roll. Um, yeah. And so the the whole purpose of this game, and you saw that trailer right there, and I'll I'll play it again. Is this is how the game starts, starts off like this? It starts off like this is like Atari twenty six hundred style, and all of a sudden it, they're then like, oh, what the hell happened? Into, Why like, do you get a modern into dimension? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, and you're following your little your little dog go around too, and it's really just make it to the end of these levels, and it looks terrifying. And some of these levels I had to redo over and over again because yeah. you, you lose. There's um. Uh, here's, there here's, is a helpful like they give yeah. you a superstar that lets you bypass everything, but you can't collect yeah. any of those little shards. Now those yeah. shards, collect those, and you get um, you open up like basically there's like all these crazy levels afterwards. Which yeah, is what, you know, a whole this game. World, yeah, so. it, it, it does that. It does that yeah. Meat Boy thing. Yep. Um, yep. In that sense, where it, it has um, like it's actually kind of easy to just blister through and beat yes. the levels, yeah. but your brain playing this game cannot ignore these, the, the shards. And mm-hmm. there's like other, like the secret rooms yeah, to get like the, the, the st- stuff. And, and it's just like, I could probably have blistered through this game in a qu- pretty quick order. Uh, Cause it's not, it's not, it's super not a big hard. Game. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not super big, but like, it's super hard if you're trying to collect the shards and collect yes. the secrets. Yeah. Uh, so my first time playing through the game, um, <clears throat> I got through the first, like I got through the first world without ever using that superstar. And I felt pretty proud yeah, of myself. I haven't used it yet. So. Yeah. And then I got through the second world and I got through most yeah. of that. I was, I was pretty happy. And then yeah. things got wickedly difficult for me. Yeah. I love, first of all, I love these kinds of games. Cause I actually like to get stupidly frustrated like this with these stupid frogs. Jumping. I hate, I hate the frogs. I, loved it. I hate the yeah. frogs in this game. They're um, terrible. Yeah, they, they are. Yeah. But, uh, and so I ended up like, I ended up loving like failing enough times. Then I'd get the I get the superstar, and then I'd play through the level with the superstar, and then I'd go back and replay it without because then I got a yeah. sense of an idea of how to accomplish certain the things. Levels, the levels are yeah, the levels aren't big, so you can yeah. If you just want to blister through them, you can kind of just map them out pretty well in your head. So they're um, they're not big, but the problem is yeah. the restart. If you fuck up at the like the very end of a level, you can yeah. drop down to some place yeah. which is like, uh, you, you know, you could lose, you could lose. I mean, each level is like maybe 20, 30 seconds at most, but there's a lot like having to go through that little zigzag area. Yeah. And you fuck up one time and you're all the way to the back. I mean, it is, yeah. it's, it's a bad feeling, but yeah. um, yeah, I uh, mean, overall, I'm, I really, I really enjoyed this game. I was surprised at how much I liked this game. You, because last week or a couple weeks ago, JJ played a game, uh, gimmick, gimmick, which was sort of like this. It's very uh, similar. Not, very similar. Uh, it was difficult, but difficult because it was poorly designed. Difficult and the level <laughs> layouts and look at the level design in this is terrific. Level it's design. it's one hundred and ten percent designed to yes. be speed run. Like every yes, it's, it's a kind speed of running like, game. Yep, it's kind of like those. Um, uh, those there's certain like Mario Maker levels. I was going to mention just, this feels like yeah. Like they're like, oh shit! Some people love these dumbass Mario Maker levels. Let's make yeah. a whole game like that. And yeah, it's, where it's like, it really, as really, it's really designed to be played by pushing forward and never yep. stopping. Yeah, and just yes. knowing when to push jump. Yep. Um, like, it's all that. It's it's yeah. a more of a because that it feels more like a rhythm game. Yeah, you're not timing to the music, but you're timing to your 
your mental well it's stuff, the, yeah. these these fucking those fucking shards are leading you to the, yes they're, it, to it's, death it, they're leading you if, to death is what they're yeah, leading you to but it's also the best line if you want to be as yep. fast as possible yep. Yeah, yeah, you guys were, I mean, referencing Super Meat Boy and stuff yeah. like that. There's going to be a moment in this trailer here shortly that's been yeah. triggering me the whole time we're watching it, where there's a yeah. line, clearly, if you go down right yeah. there. Um, yeah. but And that's where the intended route, if you want to get all these shards are, but yeah. you can do the safety jump that they just yeah. did. Um, yeah, it's, and yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It, there's something about these animations too, just from watching it. Like one of them just looks that it's clearly like, uh, like Mario's Yahoo, like job. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. it like animation into like, a role and stuff like that. Like animation. it feels, like it definitely feels like it has that language of a game that you've known for 10, 15 years yeah. vaguely. But you know, maybe it was like your neighbor's game that you always played going over there, and this is the re-release. So that this level right here. Let me get to the uh, play this real quick. Hold on, this level right here. Okay. <clears throat> now the cool thing is with some of these levels so he's rolling across here then he jumps and double jumps and gets these guys moves around um you can kind of make your way through here and, and and escape this way but there's the other room so you can hop into this other room over here and then hop back out and go back down and collect the shards that you haven't collected before. Yeah. And, and, and those glowing and rooms, those cool. rooms that are oh, glowing yeah. are sort of the secret rooms yeah. and they're hard to get into. And you yes. kind of need to yeah. understand, like, it's like a little single frame, like a, usually a single screen room where you just have to put all of your uh, skills to the, what, to the test yep. to yep. get the collectible that's in it and go on. Uh, and so. there is a little bit of like claw action that you gotta do because you gotta yeah like, there's some certain buttons and hold things and do stuff but you get used to it very quick yeah i was i was actually surprised because the these atari remake games there was the other one too that was uh that we there was reviewed. that one there was that one really bad one that was yeah. just like the mashup game that i didn't yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. that but was all dumb, of the but all of all those these, all yeah, of those sorry, neon ahead. ones that are yeah, out, just recharge great. games the recharge and, stuff they've done and, a great and this job one feels like it's like designed to be like this is the recharged version of a game that never yeah. existed like you know oh it's it's you know uh centipede recharged or whatever yep. but it's mr run and jump recharged when this game didn't exist yep um and which is one the, cool and, they also did no. put out a uh, 2600, like you get a cart of like yeah. a 2600 version of this game that yes, runs on 2600 so cool. hardware and stuff. It's, it's so cool. cool. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> I, I enjoy it. I uh, I will say one thing about this. Uh, you can't, they, they did it themselves on this trailer, but by default, the bloom is up to like a hundred yeah, on yeah. this thing. And it <laughs> looks like shit. Yeah. It, it, it makes everything washed out and like, it's, it's trying to simulate as if you're playing it on an old, like asteroids cabinet, that mm -hmm. vector art that with that phosphorus yep. glow and yep. everything. And it sucks. I cannot do it. It ruins the game for me. So one thing that is neat that though, down. is that you can, you hit the, one of the settings buttons and it'll, it'll change oh, yeah. from Mr. Run and jump to Ms. Run and jump to run and jump. Yeah. You get to choose your pronouns at the, on yeah, the title it's, screen. It's, it's kind of a little thing. It's yeah. a simple little thing. Yeah, but uh, yeah. One, uh, one final question. Uh, you mentioned that most of the levels are like 30, 40 seconds. Is that like kept throughout most of the game? Cause the, the thing that drives me nuts about these games are when uh, like difficulty is just extended for how long are you suffering? Yeah. Um, so it's like, it's not make, like not so much that the move set is hard or the, the, you know, the level itself is difficult. It's just that it's throwing it becomes an endurance jumps ride. at you right. for a minute right. and a half. Yeah. Um, as a, where every other level is like, you know, 15, 20 seconds. So uh, there aren't any like endurance run levels that I recall. No, I don't remember enough. anything being yeah. longer than a couple of minutes at best. Yep. Like, at, at best. And even then yeah. it's like you, you, there are little areas where you can kind of take a break and go into duck yeah. in a different room and then come back. Yeah. 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 But it's, I mean, uh, this, you you may or may not be into this kind of game. I'm sure yeah. it'll probably be on sale at some, at some point yeah, for like, like a really. This game is definitely not too. on yeah. my like favorites of the year list, but that doesn't yeah. mean I don't. I didn't really thoroughly enjoy my time. Yeah, with this I enjoyed my time with this too. Yeah. And then again, I'm I'm looking forward to this being speed run and seeing how. Yeah, I want to see. This is definitely something that could be on like a, a summer games done quick type of type. We'll of see thing, this on so. the stage on PAX mm. East stage next. Yeah, year. there you go. There you go. So yeah, Mr. Run and Jump. Yeah. Out now, out now. Out now.